there. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome. Please do click like and subscribe if you're so inclined. Um, welcome back for everybody that is um, returning once again. Thank you so much for your support throughout the year and helping the channel grow and become such a success. I'm grateful for you. Cancers, let's get right into your reading. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Your oracle card is the first to come out. We're going to do a full oracle card spread. I will flip the camera so I can review the cards with you. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising Sign. Wherever Cancer influences your chart, your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days out. Finding it hard to let go of the past, aren't you? Trying to look, trying to look forward the future, wanting the future, desperately wanting the future, but somehow still being stuck to the past. Cancers, um, if it don't fit, don't squeeze it. That's what I was wanting to say. I just, this, the energy flipped out. And it's like, it's like everything is happening all at once. Everything is happening all at once. It's like your past met your future. And this is the intersection of destiny. That's the energy crowning your reading. But um, in terms of your natal chart, wherever cancer influences your natal chart, Cancerians, please do um, apply these energies for the next seven days. If it don't fit, don't squeeze it. If it doesn't apply to you, then just let it go. Okay, here we have let, like wanting to move forward, desperately wanting to move forward, dreaming, dreaming of moving forward. And yet somehow you're still tethered to the past. You've had, you have not let go. There's this energy of being haunted by it, being held down by it, being held back by it, but you don't want it anymore. And that's why this is a powerful card because you've acknowledged it. You've acknowledged that you don't want to be bogged down by the energy of the past anymore. It still has a hold of you. It still has a grasp, but you have identified it as the zombie that it is. You've identified it as that thing that you don't want in your life anymore, that you're done, that you're sick of, you're through with. You know that it's garbage. You know that it's not getting you anywhere. This is a thought, an idea, a belief that you have of yourself, of your surroundings, of what's required of you, what's expected of you. It could be a relationship. It could be a job, but it's more esoteric. It's more philosophical about who you are and about how you feel about yourself. This is an old belief system that you've held on to that you, you, but you know it now, like you see the, the evil that it is. You see how wrong it is. You see that it's dead. It's a dead thing. It's dead and it's desperate and you see it for what it is. You just want to get out. You know that you're living in a house of horrors and you just want to get out. So this, listen, how powerful this moment is in your life, Cancerians, because you know it. You know it. You know now. Before this would have been you in denial or it would have been you not seeing the truth. It would have been you with rose-colored glasses on pretending nothing was wrong. But you know that it's wrong. You know that you've been hanging out in graveyards. You don't want to be amongst the dead anymore. You want to be in the land of the living. This is your chance, Cancerian, because it's your choice. It's, it's because you're waking up and realizing, I ain't Buffy the fucking vampire slayer. Okay, I'm not going to hang around graveyards. That's not my life. It's not what I want to be. It's not my destiny. I can't wait to move forward. And you know what? The, the harder this tries to pull you back, the more it's going to want to, the more it's, the more it's going to make you want to escape it. This is that energy. This could also have been your effect on somebody else. This could be vice versa or for cross watchers. The effect that a Cancerian has had on you is holding on so tight, holding on so hard, uh, not letting go that it's just done. It's, it, it's over with. It's so over with and you're ready to release it. You're ready to release it. You see it for what it is and it still has a power over you. I, I want to use that expression from Labyrinth you have no power over me. But the truth is, it still has a power over you. It still has some sort of sway over how you feel, but you know you've identified it. You understand where it's coming from and you don't want it in your life anymore. You're ready, you just don't know which way to go yet as in terms of which way is out. So that is your crowning energy, Cancerians. And there's a lot of energy coming out for you. This is a big reading. This is a big reading. Okay, excellent. This is a big reading. Trust in the magic. There's going to be some sort of intervention coming in and I think it's going to, you're gonna hear it. It's going to direct you. A new direction, a new light, a new ray of hope 
walk toward the ray of hope cancerian it is put there for a reason this could also uh, this could also be a card of a new relationship a new love coming into your life or a new child something dawning maybe you've just adopted a child or you're having a child this is new life a new way of being a new start a hard restart starting over that's what this is give with gratitude and grace this is receiving abundance instead of giving it cancerians this is your new leaf this is you being on the eating side instead of the delivery and the feeding side. This is you finding that abundance and that help and that helpfulness and allowing yourself to be invested in. Cancerian, claim your independence. You're getting single. You're breaking free. You're breaking free and maybe you're not ready to admit how happy you are, but the truth is you're extremely happy. The abundant universe will provide. Everything is being provided for you. Oh, my puppy's dreaming. Everything is being provided for you. You don't have to ask. You have everything that you need in yourself. You don't need somebody else to give you anything. But this is a sense that there is a feeling of the universe is helping you out. It's going to make this not so hard. It's going to make this not hurt so bad. And I think that that's part of the awakening is realizing that you're like hanging out in cemeteries with zombies and being like, ew, this is gross. Instead of making, instead of dolling it up and, and making it look like it's, it's not, it's, it's something better. You're not doing that. And I think that that's why um, it's going to be easier for you to let go let, let release and let go time for a beginner mind. This is central to your reading. Um, this is your defenses are up. This is you carry your defenses wherever you go and you are who you are. You could be a little bit uh, prickly this week. You could be coming off as a little bit abrasive, or abrasive, not aggressive, but abrasive and defensive. And that's just how you're going to be. I think, honestly, Cancerian, it's almost like you're unapologetic this week. Unapologetic for not being kind and friendly to people. You just don't want to be. You want your space and it feels really good to take that space to you. It's a newfound sort of superpower of independence of I don't, I don't need to be around people if I don't want to be. It's this wonderful sense of trying, finding your own space and resetting yourself. This is like a hard reset for you, Cancerian. Let spirit be your guide. That higher perspective, that overview, objective, you're able to you're able to emotionally detach this week and allow yourself to see things from above and, and, and take advice from somebody who is able to direct you and give you advice that is objective. It's almost like you're able to take criticism this week. That's what it is. Somebody can criticize you and your, your skin is thick enough. You don't, you're, you're, you're not, um, um, well, you could be bristling, bristling a little bit about it, but it's more ego than it is emotional. It, you're not letting it get to you. You're, you're remaining objective this week. You're remaining emotionally objective to something, because I don't even think it's full criticism. I think it's something that somebody else sees and knows about and tells you about. And it, you're not taking it personally. And that's a step forward for you. It's a step of freedom. Um, set healthy boundaries, learning how to, this is it. This is a very Cancerian card. This is that in between phase between when you're, it's like between dog energy or, um, of, of, of just wanting to provide and wanting to do and serve and serve and serve and give and give and give. And that energy of like turtle energy, where is you have grown a shell you don't use it to hide. It protects you, but it doesn't hold you down. This is a step in between. It's like, how do I set healthy boundaries? Is learning those boundaries and fearlessly learning them because you're sick of being bogged down by that heavy metal. You know, that heavy metal of that heavy metal armor, you're done with it. See that pain and the suffering in those sweet eyes? This is, this is throwing off that heavy armor that is weighing you down. It is. And learning how... To, to not feel guilty about saying no and learning how to open yourself up to receiving, receiving gifts and abundance and, and accept that, um, you know, sometimes abundance doesn't come in the form that we expect it to come in. 
nothing is wasted. Finding a golden nugget in a pile of garbage. That's really interesting energy for you. Time to heal. Is this all the cards that Gemini got? It's funny, these are all the cards that Gemini got, but it's in different order. <laughs> oh, okay, this is interesting. Nothing is wasted. You spend too much time with a snake and now you're moving in the opposite direction from them. You know, I always say this, I always say this, cancers, we hold on so tight, we hold on so long, but holy moly, when we let go, <laughs> it's almost like a, it's almost like a rocket ship taking off. Yeah, you're definitely letting go of a situation that you've long held on to, a feeling of guilt that you've long um, allowed yourself to be persecuted for. You're done with that. You've forgiven yourself. And that's the power this week of waking up and realizing this is nothing but zombies wanting to keep you down. This is nothing but but people who are dead that don't want to die. And you're like, I, I don't want to be around this anymore. This is the time of freedom for you. Complete and total liberation. Time to let go of something that's been gnawing at your heart. This is also about communicating since Gemini energy is right next to it. And it's essentially Gemini is the master communicator. This is about communicating what's been on your mind and on your heart and not putting somebody else's feelings first, but allowing you to take care of you and say what you need to say to somebody. Speak your truth to somebody. And that yes, it's going to transform your life. It's going to transform your life into abundance and prosperity. It's going to transform you into somebody that is free. And it's also going to put you with people that you really should be with. Cancerians. Because right now, this is an energy of somebody who's stuck with people that they don't want to be with, with zombies that are just like all over them. And, and it, it's like, it's like waking up and realizing that you are not where you want to be and having the energy and the, I don't give a, you know what to say, I'm going, I'm just going. This is about me. This is about my life. This is about my freedom. And I'm taking off. And it's not, it's almost, I have to say, this is an energy of not, I don't give a flying you know, or, hey, everybody, F off. Um, no, this is about just really being ready. This is a time of travel, maybe long distance international travel for you. This is a time of sharing your voice with everybody, sharing your words, sharing your song, sharing your talent, sharing your gifts. And that is probably, remember what I said? The crowning energy was holding on to something that's been in part of you. This is a decision that you made about yourself and you're letting go of those old decisions about yourself. Like maybe you've always thought you're ugly and now you finally realize it doesn't matter what I look like. Somebody finds me beautiful. I'm not letting that control me anymore. This is maybe an energy of thinking that you didn't have enough talent or enough skill or you've known that you've always had talent, but you've always hidden it because you've always been afraid that what if you fail? It's not even like screw it. I don't care if I fail. It's not even that. It's this energy of just like worrying and being afraid that you'll fail. It just got old. It got, it got so old, it died. And you don't want to be amongst dead things anymore. In other words, this is your time. This is the right timing of when you're ready to release and let go. You could be traveling internationally. You could be something that you've been something that you've been holding on to for quite some time. You're about to release into the open and about to announce to people. You're about to allow them to hear what you actually need to say. And I do have to say that there is essentially uh, an essence of serendipity and the spirit world coming in and and almost like opening a door for you. There's this energy of a, a door opening and it. Okay, your freedom, your internal, emo your emotional freedom happens not because 444, angels are around us everywhere, giving us stability and protection. The door bursted, it's almost like the door bursted open from the inside. So you setting yourself free 
and releasing this need to hold on to the past was what blew that door open. It's what pulled this abundance toward you. And it is external abundance coming toward you, but it's you that created the current that dragged it that way. Remember, we're cardinal signs. We're a very emotional cardinal sign. So it's almost like we have this fantasy in our head that people will provide for us. But the truth is, at the end of the day, it's always us. We create the current. We create the emotional current. And now we've created that current of unblocking a flow of unclogging our toilets, letting the shit go through, and now the water can flow. It's like flushing that shit away and letting it go be where it needs to be. Now we're cleansed. This is that energy of just unblocking a long-standing, stinky, dead clog. Letting it pass because we're... <clears throat> Excuse me. We're ready we're ready to let it pass. It's, it's, it's like it was time. It was time. Hold on. I'm going to flip the camera around so that you can see the cards. I keep hearing the song from Jekyll and Hyde, the musical. This is the moment. This is it. But it's not because you're taking a leap of faith. It's because you're letting go of fear. You're, you're relinquishing it. Anything that was eating away at you isn't eating away anymore. You don't even care that people think that this is why this is why I love this, this energy for you in the set for us in the center is that you don't care if people think that you're bristly and normally you would care. And that's the mindset you're releasing, caring about what other people think of you. This is who you are and you're loving who you are. Do you see this energy of adoring adornments for those spikes? He's dressing his spikes up. He's dressing his spines up. He's like, you may not like them, but I do. This is how I'm built. And I'm going to love the shit out of myself. This is total and complete acceptance. And it's new for you. It's a newfound strength of character. A newfound, hey, guess what? I have a right to be happy too. And my happiness is actually important to me. And you're actually being led this way. You've been directed by spirit. Spirit has been pushing you in this direction. And it will continue to push you in the direction of a tower moment will come in and make you see things for what they are. Make you burst through these unhealthy boundaries that you've set or have not set. And it's, it's for a purpose. It's for the purpose of, um, it's for the purpose of healing and, and progress and being able to release and let go so you can finally be free to like, free as a bird, look at you, free as a bird, free to take off and go wherever you wanna go. Whatever's been nagging at your heart is about to be released, Cancerian. So let's see what's coming in and what romance you can expect over the next seven days. I'll see you over there. The, the link is below, Cancerians, I'll see you over there.